Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1280. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about the Santa Claus rally ahead. What does December look like? How does the end of the year look? Are we going to finish strongly? By the end of this podcast, you'll know the answers to all those questions. But first, let's review what we have been through in the fabulous November. In fact, it was the best November of all time on record, mainly because inflation continues to fall and interest rates have started to decline ahead of any Fed rate cuts. Now, what's happened is interest rates have fallen so far, so fast, it's equivalent to if the Fed had cut rates four times which of course they haven't yet, but I'm just saying that interest rates have fallen that much. And the market is projecting an 80% chance of the Fed cutting rates by March. So you can see that things are changing very quickly. And this is what is going to cause this extreme rally that's going to continue into December and into the first half of next year. Now, We've been talking about how most of that performance has been concentrated in the mega cap stocks, the Magnificent Seven, and companies that are doing buybacks. But we also have a lot of short covering. So investors who are short are having to buy stocks to cover those short positions that have been wrong. And there's a lot of window dressing for the end of the year reports as professional investors make their portfolios look especially sharp for their investors. But soon we'll have the U.S. employment data coming out that we'll get on December 8th. And that will tell us a lot about how employment is going. There are seeming to be more layoffs that I'm hearing about. And that means unemployment is going up. Now, typically, December is the second best performing month of the year. And on average, it's up about 1.14%. We have the S&P 500 up 19.41% year to date. Now we may see some tax loss selling, people who are selling positions that have not done well and taking the tax loss before the end of the year. And that's pretty normal, but it should be relatively mild as it's looking super strong for the bulls. And the second half of December usually outperforms the first half of December. So we should be able to see nice strong performance into the end of the year. And according to LPL Financial's research, the S&P typically goes up 0.1% in the first half of December and 1.4% in the second half of December. And that's what we call a nice Santa Claus rally. So this should also help the IPO market as we start to see companies lining up on deck for their IPO next year. And we already have a list of companies that plan to have their IPO. And as the market continues to do well, I think that list is going to continue to grow. There's hundreds of companies that have been waiting to go public. And because of the strong rally we have with stocks, it's the perfect time for the IPOs to happen. So watch for a broadening IPO market as well. So everything still looks strong. All of our indicators are still flashing lower inflation, lower interest rates, and a rising stock market, which is going to bring that nice Santa Claus rally that we always like to see. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.